There's a story that someone once loaded mixed binary explosives into the trunk of their car. While sitting at a red light, they got rear-ended, and the crash supposedly set off a massive explosion. But is that even possible? Binary explosives are made of two parts, an oxidizer and a catalyst. On their own, both are completely inert. To prove it, the team fired a large caliber rifle at each chemical separately. Nothing happened. But once the two were mixed together, a single rifle shot was enough to set them off. On the high-speed camera, you could clearly see the blast. Next, they packed the mixture into multiple cans and fired at just one. Sure enough, the single impact triggered a chain reaction, blowing everything up. So we know bullets can ignite binary explosives. But what about impact from a car crash? To test it, Tori buried the nose of a car into the ground and placed 50 pounds of mixed binary explosive in the trunk. Then they dropped another car from 50 feet up, simulating a 60 mile per hour rear end collision. The crash hit right on target but no explosion. Time to go bigger. For the next test, they brought in rockets. This time, they packed 200 pounds of binary explosive into the trunk of the target car. The crash car was fitted with 10 rockets generating 65,000 pounds of thrust, pushing it to 300 miles per hour in seconds. The rocket car stayed on track and slammed into the target perfectly. Before attempting the final collision, they wanted to see just how powerful 200 pounds of binary explosive really is. The result? The test car was blown into pieces. Then came the ultimate test. The rocket car, now reaching 350 miles per hour, smashed into the trunk of the target vehicle. And still, no explosion. Just a cloud of dust and twisted metal flying everywhere. The conclusion? Only a high-velocity bullet can ignite binary explosives. That's exactly why Hollywood loves using them. They're powerful, yet stable enough to handle safely. Myth busted.